It is the 25th of the 5th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Hurricane Bud heading for area near Porto, Porto Vallarta. Hurricane Bud lost some strength as it moves closer to the Mexico's Pacific coast, and it's a uh, forecast hit close to there. 5.6 earthquake which jolted Bulgaria was strongest since 1858 and aftershocks continue. Earthquake magnitude 4.8 shakes nervous Christchurch sending shoppers fleeing into the streets. Uh, ner nervous shoppers fled into the streets when a 4.7 earthquake rattled New Zealand city of Christchurch, halting rebuilding work following last year's tremor that killed 185 people. These were no immediate reports of damage or injuries, and the police and ambulance services said they had received no calls for assistance, thankfully. Uh, they are definitely not out of the woods yet. Very unstable area. Original radiation released by Fukushima, 2.5 times higher than what TEPCO told public. Uh, the amount of radioactive materials released in the first days of Fukushima nuclear disaster was almost 2.5 times the initial estimate by the Japanese safety regulators. The operator of the crippled plant said on, in a report released on Thursday. Uh, they're also saying this is the report where uh, Kevin Blanche come out where... Uh, RT reported that it's four and a half times or four times Chernobyl, and uh, TEPCO admitted itself that those numbers are probably a little low. <sighs> Tornado confirmed on ground near uh, Wausau, Wisconsin. Uh, I have some extreme weather up there. Late season storm could bring summer snow to Sierra, California. The advance this Memorial Day weekend, particularly for folks heading into the Sierra, is be prepared. A National Weather Service and transportation officials say travelers can expect everything from snow showers and accumulations up to 6 inches in the high country today and Saturday to temperatures in the 80s in the Sacramento Valley on Sunday and Monday. So, uh, <laughs> more highly, uh. Scientific experts confounded by increasing snow cover on Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, constituting the highest mountain area in Africa. Mount Kilimanjaro is slowly building up its snow cover. Allaying fears that the prominent scientists who have predicted witnessing um, the immense loss is famous white hat. So uh, the, the, the climate change scientists were saying that uh, Kilimanjaro was going to lose its snow cap, but uh, they've done studies that uh, it's actually um, getting thicker. Tornado damages 15 homes in Northport, Florida. Uh, here's a good one. Tornado still seen in Kansas couple's wedding photos. Uh, if you haven't seen this photo, it's a young wedding uh, Kansas couple. Uh, he's in a cowboy hat and she's in the wedding dress, of course, and they're taking their uh, you know wedding pictures together with a tornado in the backdrop. Uh, you can't say more Kansas than that. 60,000 to 100,000 dead fish wash up in eastern shores of the United States near Chesapeake Bay. Uh, they're saying due to the extreme weather, it's turned up a lot of pollution, which is causing the fish deaths, that kind of thing. Uh, definitely an alarming amount of fish kill. Over to the Watchers, magnitude 6.2 earthquake in Greenland Sea. This is the one that was off the coast of Norway, in between Greenland and Norway. Magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck area of Norwegian Sea on Thursday. Um, the epicenter was located at 601 kilometers um, northwest of Tromsø. And the depth of the epicenter was 8.8 kilometers, according to the USGS. And uh, they've been having some aftershocks with that as well. No tsunami alerts, of course. Dense dust storms blow over Middle East. A dust storm shrouded Iraq, Kuwait late Monday uh, on the 22nd. The Kuwait News Agency reported the thick dust has suspended operations in two ports. Damage from chemical exposure passed down for generations. New research has shown that exposure to commonly used chemicals can cause changes 
in rats that are passed down through multiple generations, uh, including high anxiety and stress and all of that. Intense heat waves across Indian subcontinent makes new record highs. Uh, they are still dealing with their big heat wave. Rains swell dried out uh, Poyang Lake in China. In January 2012, we were writing uh, about the dried out beds of these lakes in southeastern China where drought had shrunk the lake to a fraction of its former area. After a year of poor rainfall, a, a lake covered less than 188 square kilometers. China's two freshwater lakes, um, they were both drying up dramatically. Almost 40 million people had been um, affected by the water, but uh, all these heavy rains that they've been going, uh, thankfully these lakes are starting to fill back up. Typhoon uh, Sanvu is the first typhoon of this year. Uh, it is the first such storm since early October 2011. It's only the second name uh, Western North Pacific storm thus far in 2012. Unfortunately, no major land masses are under threat. Category Hurricane 1 bud continues to strengthen. I heard it lost a little strength right before it's supposed to hit Mexico. And where is the other one? Oh, the nuclear fire on the USS Miami uh, burning at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. Uh, I'll cover a little bit of that on e, &E News. Oh, speaking of, let's go ahead and go over to that. <laughs> Mayor, we are definitely suffering from radiation exposure in our bodies. And One Healthcare, just 2%, 2% of Fukushima residents have had radiation testing by the government. And I've heard stories and seen reports where people were flat out refused um, treatment uh, when they wanted to get tested for radiation in Tokyo and around um, Japan. TEPCO unit number four wall bulging, local de uh, deformation confirmed. Uh, so basically just one wall, the, 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 the support beams have, have, have bulged out um, in a bow kind of thing. Um, the rest of the building they're saying is fairly secure with the reactor and the um, fuel storage pool above the reactor kind of thing, um, not on the actual wall that's, that's sagging. So uh, time will tell with this. Uh, they got some diagrams explaining the whole thing. TEPCO checks for cracks on spent fuel pool number four. Now says reactor building not tilting as whole. And of course, uh, they're not reminding you that the... Um, the water is leaking from the storage pool through to the basement where they are pumping the water from the basement back into the fuel storage pool uh, at a rate where it is losing it so they're keeping an equilibrium that way. Um, the, the, the fuel pool is, is, is already ruptured. There are broken uh, fuel rods lying on the bottom of the fuel pool, no containment whatsoever. Um, so it's still a very precarious situation in uh, spent fuel pool number four, Fukushima Daiichi. Um, definitely, you know, here we go. The insanity continues. UN radiation expert, neutron exposure from Fukushima criticalities not measured. Well, why is that? Major problems with radiation testing for children. U.S. Congressman, days before officials can enter fire-damaged area of nuclear submarine. Um, <clears throat> the fire went on for a few days. They're saying it was, it was uh, kept to the front of the ship, to the forward, forward part of the ship, and the reactors are in the back end of the ship. Uh, there was nuclear fuel in the reactors, but the reactors weren't on. Obviously, it was in dry dock under repairs or modifications or whatever they do. Um, close call, I would imagine, if, you know, if the story lines up for what they're really telling us. Uh, people were reporting smelling strange smells, but uh, who knows what they were doing to that submarine uh, when it caught fire. Unexplained, TEPCO could not measure amount of radiation released when number four exploded, and they don't know why. Impossibly high uh, WHO's intentional report estimated Tokyo and Osaka infant thyroid dose at 10 to 100 millisieverts, up to one full sievert in uh, Nami. Nami. 
TEPCO admits high temps may have degraded containment vessels after meltdowns. Massive amounts of fallout released from upper parts of reactors? Question mark. We know they've melted through. And they're already seeping into the Pacific Ocean. They're talking about building a 100-foot wall to try to keep that back a little bit. <sighs> and the stories go on and on, of course. Uh, to my American friends, enjoy your holiday. Uh, may it be safe and happy. And just remember to laugh. Enjoy while you can. Have a great weekend.